Hi friends. I am about to open the Christmas gift that I got from my mom, which is the bag that I wanted because I want to take my book with me um, and I want to take my iPad with me and my current bag is already heavy. So I want to see how big this bag is. Um, Gunner, I don't need your help, Ruby. Um, to see, oh, this, this bag is huge. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, so it is a Glamaholic Lifestyle bag, which is a black owned luxury brand. And this is their, I don't need your help, baby. This is their most recent release, um, which is the flat bag. This bag is huge. Comes with a dust bag. Gunner, I don't need your help, baby. I appreciate you for wanting to help me, but I don't need your help. Granny, hello, Granny. Hello, Granny. Dick, why would you try to push my mother over like that? Oh, Granny, look. Why are you frowning? Do you want the bubble wrap? It's not even the kind that you like, Bluey. Welcome to the vlog. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm switching my bags over and I will show y'all what I keep in my bag. In my pocket book. So I have two portable chargers, um, but I keep them in this little pouch with the rest of my electronic type stuff and my keys. Um, so I got my AirPods that I was looking for the other day. I have a charger piece, like a, a wall piece. I got an extra cord. Um, and that's what I keep in that one because I hate to be somewhere and my phone dies. Next, I have a little baggie with like toiletry stuff in it. Not necessarily makeup um, because I don't wear makeup on a regular basis. But it has perfume, lip glosses, ponytail holders, cuticle oil, um... You know, just stuff that I would reach for. Um, eyeglasses, wipes, which I don't reach for enough if you ask my mother. Um, we also have, no thank you, no thank you, get down. No thank you, get down. Thanks. Um, cotton nail wipes, and then I got some wet ones too, because y'all are dirty. Um, Obviously, my wallet is in here. Um, I also keep deodorant in my bag um, because you never know. I mean, sometimes you could forget to put deodorant on. Um, I know that is something that I do. I got an emergency pair of hoop earrings in here. Um, Gunner tail holders and I have a pair of socks in here. That's important. 
um, because I mean Pilates or I wear my feet get cold. I don't know. I couldn't even stop. That's important. Pants. Um, and yeah, that is. Oh, the other important thing that's in here is my car key. I'm gonna make sure I take that out. And that is it, y'all. Or I'll show y'all what I put in the new bag too. I got my iPad with me. Um, because I decided to bring my iPad. Um, I, I want to look up some stuff for Jordan to see if there are any like he likes video games. Gonna why are you barking? He likes video games. Um, and I wanted to look up if there were any um like math related gunner math related video things for him that he could play on my ipad while we're there don't do that please um so i wanted to look that up but yeah the only thing that i don't have in my which I probably need to buy. It's just like a little pouch for like my pens and stuff. Um, in case I'm like, you know, in this case, I brought my book with me. I'm bringing my book with me. Um, in case I want to like annotate and stuff like that. Um, so I definitely need to do that. Um, That's it. Gunner, I'm gonna beat you with something. I don't know with what, but with something. Yep, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Because you are making an unnecessary mess. That's what you're doing. Yep. He's making a mess. Those are my favorite. But yeah, so it is still January when I am filming this. Um, but I am starting my my February reading. Um, because I am impatient and I just can't wait. Um, so I'm currently listening to. My dog is a terrorist. I'm currently listening to From Scratch and I'm enjoying it. Um, but I am also gonna start in the upper country at some point between tonight and tomorrow. Um, I don't know where, but that is the plan. Um, so I have my book with me, I got my iPad. Of all of the things and I put my car key in there. Okay, cool. I'll grab an extra highlighter. And we all crazy glue and I got the little two pack so that um I can put one of these in my bag because nails break nails break stuff be happening so 
be asked out again. I don't want to do that. I'm twisting this in a way so that I know it's um close close. I know I'm lying. Give me a second. Shall I had dropped the damn nail? What kind of boo swanky is that? So we just gonna, you know, put some glue on the nail. On my nail. I know you're not supposed to use. crazy glue for this but it worked the best of years of having nails and breaking nails crazy glue has held me down more than anything else now the only other thing I'm gonna do is wipe the little top off because okay show me now you just make sense um because I don't want to get crazy glue anywhere else or not be able to open this thing which seems like that's what's about to happen but you know what That's fine. It might be a dub for this one. But at least we got the other one. So. We gonna. We gonna let her dry. We gonna put this other one. In my purse. In my pocketbook. Now I'm back in action until I could go get my nails done. Until I can go get my nails done. This Fenty lip oil, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It is a very good lip oil. Um, I like the consistency. I like that um, it keeps my lips moisturized. All of the things. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright. Now I need to go. I didn't even get to start reading the way that I wanted to. Because I was doing everything with my life. So. Now. I need to go home. This garbage bag back there somewhere. I need to go home. And. Walk the dog. before we um, head out to my uncle house. Um, I got some book mail. I got Every Man by M. Shelley Connors. It says, Eve Man arrives in Idol, Georgia in 1972 looking for answers about the mother who died giving her life. A mother who for all 
of Eve's 22 years has been a mystery and a quest. Eve's search for her mother and the father she never knew is a mission to discover her identity, her name, her people, her home. Eve's questions and longing launch a multi-generational story that sprawls back to the turn of the 20th century, settles into the soil of the South, the blood and the souls of Black folk making love and life and fleeing into a great migration into the savage embrace of the north Eve is a young woman coming of age in chicago against the backdrop of the twin fires and fury of the civil rights in the black power movements a time when everything and everyone it seems longs to be made anew this sounds good gunner no thank you i said no he gonna get beat up move I swear I ain't never met a dog into more stuff than my own. But yeah, I got this because um, my friend Jess, who I'm doing bookish bingo with. Get down, please. Mommy. Hold the phone. I'll be back. Hi, friend. I'm loving my hair. Um, everybody thinks that I'm having a mental episode, and I promise I am not. Um, well, not everybody. My mama know that I'm not having a mental health care. Um, but my best friend sure was concerned. Um, now I just feel like I need some color. Um, and me and Shayla gonna look like cousins for real. But yeah, I just... made a decision and went with it i know myself i know that if i would have continued to think about it for a long time i wasn't gonna do it um i also was talking to one of my aunts and they said something that is very true i've, I've been feeling like change is coming um and she was like this is just making space for your blessings baby um and that is accurate um so I feel so cute bro and like to get in the shower and to just you know rub some water put a little something and do like this real quick and go is so amazing for mommy to be like go to the store and for me to just get up and put some clothes on and I could just go to the store it feels so good it feels so free and my head is cold though a little bit um and this junk is uneven like i need to go through and you know get my life in order because it is not even but i'm fine as hell i do want some color though i want some color um i'm thinking like a like a honey blonde not like blonde blonde you know I don't want to go platinum but just like a little bit but we'll see we shall see um so I think I told y'all what three books I wanted to read this month this week um which is in the upper country which I started the other day um every man and sing I'm very sane in the upper country is good i'm interested but it is a slow slow read so i have the audiobook for it um so probably later this week i'll pick up the audiobook on that but i am starting sing i'm buried sing um and i'm probably going to get through this one really fast i'm super super excited that she is coming out with a new book this year um, and it comes out in October, my birthday month. All I want for my birthday is to get my book signed by Jasmine Ward. That is all that I want. That is all that I want. It's all that I want. <laughs> um, so I'm super excited about that. Um, So that's what kind of prompted me to pick Sing I'm Buried Sing up next. Um, 
And yeah, I'll be listening to that. I mean, reading this and listening to From Scratch. Um, I think I could do four books this week. I think I can. Hey, y'all. Did I vlog today? I don't know. I need to do a better job at putting like vlog footage in um, folders in my phone and on my iPad and computer and such because I don't do a good job of that. But I wanted to come. Whatever that dog upstairs is doing, it's none of your business. It's none of your business. So, I think I might have told y'all that in the upper country was turning out to be slow. And I don't know if I told y'all on here or let me let me let me talk for a minute, then I'll finally see myself. Wherever I told y'all, it was getting a little slow, right? But then something told me to push through. And now the parts that I'm getting at are really, really good. Sit down, baby. Sit down. You were sleeping. As soon as I finish eating, I'm gonna get out your way. Excuse me, because you were sick and tired of me. Uh-huh, yes, you are. I know. So I don't even know if I gave y'all a summary or not. Sit down, Gunner Bartholomew Glassby. Who my child is aggravating? He my children now. So, takes place in a town called Dunmore, which is a free town in Canada. Um, There is a murder committed by some a new fugitive that has recently come in town. We meet the main character, Lucinda, who works for a colored newspaper. Um, when the murder happens, they call Lucinda. And baby girl was like, if y'all don't take that white man body and put him in the swamp and hide this lady and going about our business, why are we getting the um, constables involved? Why are we putting her in this predicament when we could wrap this up? Like, I don't understand. But everybody insisted that the woman who is an older woman, her story needs to be told. Um, so she goes to the jail and she's trying to get the story out of the woman. And the woman is giving her a hard time. The lady speaks in riddles. I love this character. We don't have a name for her yet. Excuse me. I love her um, because she speaks in riddles. And she don't get no never mind about nobody. Excuse me. Um... And I think they are connected somehow. Gunner, stop it, baby. I think they are connected somehow. Um, she had mentioned some text, like some, some writings that she had that one of the girls that traveled with her um, had. In, and when Lucinda went to get it and she brought it to the jail so that they could finally get this woman's story from her, um, Lucinda had works that were similar that she had got from back home um sit down i'm not sure what did you do to your ear why every time i look at you you bleeding somehow what the hell saying you you worry in my nerves i'm forget oh okay so in the story our slave narrative so now the part that i'm getting to hush is a slave narrative and it is quite interesting so i'm wondering how the the slave narrative is connected to the old woman how it's connected to lucinda somehow so on and so forth um what i will say is that the book reads 
very much like um, Kai Thomas was getting his master's in English literature and African American studies. I do not mean this in a bad way. All that I am saying is it's very wordy. Very, very wordy. Very, you know, description of every little thing that you could possibly think of. <laughs> um, so that's why I said that it was slow. The writing is beautiful, but you got to be in a mood to read something like this. That's what I'll say. It's not bad. I'm enjoying it, even the flowery part of it. But it feels like it's taken me years to read it because every page is this long drawn out very beautiful sentence whereas i'm just like tell me how all these people is connected i want to know the thing oh. I, I, I be quiet y'all y'all get my point i have not been vlogging at all mostly because i've just been busy but hey, it is, according to my vehicle, six degrees. Um, but I'm going to the grocery store because we need stuff. And if I waited any longer, it just wasn't going to happen. Um, so yeah. That is what What I will say to you is that this jacket from Target, we got it out of the men's section. It was in a vlog. I don't know if they have them anymore because winter in the retail world is pretty much over. Um, so it'll be hard to find the stuff. But we got them out of the men's section. section. Mom got hers because um, it was orange. And y'all see my brown, my like reddish brown one. But I ordered this one because yellow is my jam. Um, these jackets are so freaking warm. Target has like a, a warmth like rating system. And it is 100% worth it. They did not lie. This thing is warm. To be honest with you, if they had like the matching snow pants to go with it, I would definitely get them. Um, because when I have this jacket on, the only parts of me that are cold are the parts that are not in this jacket. Um, so, they ain't lie. Um, I'm trying to think. What am I doing? today a bunch of nothing to be honest um i started reading devil's half acre um but i put it down because it was frustrating me so i started reading moonrise over new jessup i do have some like stuff that i need to record and post um but i will do that excuse me a little later um but yeah Moonrise Over New Jessup I am enjoying I'm on chapter 4 I believe and um so far so good I guess I should tell y'all what it's about um so the main character's name is Alice Young she has to leave her home because um, she doesn't have the funds to stay there anymore in Alabama. But like her parents both passed on and her sister is in Chicago. So she gets on a bus thinking that she had enough to go all the way to Chicago, but she didn't. And the bus stops in the town of New Jessup and she wasn't going to get off the bus but 
the bus driver was like, you know, here goes some money. Um, oh, I got my nails done yesterday. Um, here goes some money. Um, go inside and get you, like, you know, a Coke or something to eat because it's going to be a little while before we get off the bus again. Um, and she goes and she's looking for the colors only entrance because it's 1957 I believe and she, the guy was like it's no use for that here because it's only it's only coloreds that live here um and she was like confused at first but now she's trying to like um you know adapt to living there the the pastor and his wife let her stay with them for a little while um and then she they figured out that she could sew and they taught her how to use a sewing machine and now she has a little job with the seamstress in town and the seamstress is letting her um rent the apartment above the um the store so she's there and then she works at the diner part-time because she was lonely and she keep writing letters to her sister her sister not answering her and the one chapter we got a little bit of like her family history which was cool so i'm i'm interested to see where the book goes it's, it's interesting so far the last part that i read she she got asked out on a date by this guy so and she said yes because she thinks he's handsome <laughs> and she was all nervous and she was like she had been on dates before but you know it was more to take up space than anything else you know last night my mother said that I had my father's temperament and it made me want to figure out a way to wash myself real like wash myself off real good cause like I don't want to be associated with that man anyway that's the conversation for, for therapy so yeah I'm trying to let the car heat up cause she act like she ain't want to start today I don't blame her. Six degrees is dramatic. Six degrees is very dramatic. And then my mother is like, I'm like, yeah, I was just going to go to the store to get something to drink and per usual. Well, since you in there, can you get and can you grab and can you and can you and can you? That's so annoying to me. Because it's like it's too cold for her to do anything, but it's okay for me to come out here. Even the like, um, the grass is frozen that was interesting to me this is me ending the vlog um i didn't really vlog a lot this week i was working on other stuff and doing some other stuff um but here's the end of the vlog next week's vlog will be really entertaining though because we got a book signing we have um new york vogue we will be outside next week, so next week will be a little bit more entertaining than this week. And next week, I want to do, I really want to get back in the groove of reading, because right now I'm kind of in a little bit of a reading funk. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Um, if no one's told you I love you, like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Love you, bye.